So if you've watched my other videos, you know I'm having a pretty good day. I, uh, I've already caught two swarms and I'm checking the trap here and I was just kind of chuckling like, how could it get any better than catching two swarms? I've never done that. And I go and check this trap and we've got some action. And so I don't think it's a full catch. And I think this is actually a, a really good like teachable moment. So um, let me zoom in here and let me show you what we have going on. Um, but we have some bearding going on on the outside of the box. And uh, this generally happens uh, right before they move in. So the, the scout bees have checked it out. They like it. And the swarm is, is coming. And so uh, I was fortunate enough to catch one in my backyard about 20 feet from a back window. And I watched this happen. You know, day one was scouts. Day two was scouts. Day three was bearding. And, and really the whole swarm shows up, uh, you know, over the course of about an hour and a half. And I think we're seeing the very start of this. Um, so let me show you what I'm seeing and tell you why I'm so excited. Cause I think we'll call this two and a half catches, but I'll bet that tomorrow morning, if I come out here, this is a catch. So take a look. All right, so as you can see, they are not going in and out of the hive. They're clustered up right here. And I'll bet tomorrow they'll move in and they are drawing out some wax. I don't know why they do that, but um, this is a good sign. And so, uh, but I think if I were to stand here, unfortunately I have to go back and start fixing dinner, but if I were to stand here, I think more and more bees are gonna show up as you can see, there's there's more coming to the party, uh, but you don't see any exiting. And so my thought is that they're gonna beard uh, today and uh, move in either this evening or tomorrow morning. So this is the very start of a swarm. All right, so just a little bit of information about this spot. I have it facing east, and let me flip the camera around and, and show you the landscape here. Um, I used to think direction mattered. And I still actually think it, it does, um, but I need to put some numbers in a spreadsheet because I have always kind of thought south, facing south is the best option. And as a result, I set more traps facing south. And as a result, I catch more, right? So I think there's a bit of bias there and I need to control for the number of traps that I'm setting out. So stay tuned on that, but let me know in the comments, do you think it matters? Does direction matter? matter all right so this is a wood line that runs north south and we've got an east facing swarm trap right here i've got it on a big mature tree and uh yeah it's not going to sway in the wind that's one thing i like about these bigger trees is they don't sway in the wind but uh you know higher elevation i would say that uh you know compared to you know what I'm looking at this is kind of the peak of the hill and so I like that um, but the reason that I picked that is this is kind of an intersection you know we've got something that comes in here something that comes in here and then back up through here we have a bunch of wildflowers and so um, I'm not sure if I have a whole lot of rhyme or reason to where I hang, hang these things but this spot seemed to make sense thank you everybody for watching I uh, I have one more trap to check and it would be comical. I don't wanna, listen, I'm starting to get greedy now. I need to be happy with three. This has been the best day of swarm trapping of my life. Thank you everyone for tuning in. I hope you are all setting out traps and catching swarms this fall. And uh, we'll see you soon, bye.